Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now for March. This is the second reading. I've already done one. I'll tag it to the end in case you haven't seen it. This is just a March update for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we got for Sagittarius? Sanctuary. Sanctuary. We're going to read it. We're going to read it real quick just because I feel the need. A vintage goddess sits peacefully in quiet reflection beneath the arches of her sacred temple. Subtle shades, I can't, it's Mercury retrograde, please bear with me. Subtle shades of green represent the harmony found in forest and fields. A lone peacock stands atop a stone pillar. These auspicious birds of protection and watchfulness are said to be symbols of the heavens and eyes of the stars. As depicted on the cascading tail feathers, early belief held that, pa that a pair of peacocks guarded the gates of paradise. Getting the goosebumps. Our goddess muse wears a dress made from similar plumage. A beautiful jay flies into the foreground, its loyal and protective nature a fitting presence. For some, the first experience of communion, celebration, and sanctuary begins in the safety and security of the family home. But as we grow, our perception of sanctuary evolves according to how, how we relate to the world in its ever-quickening pace. In contrast to seeking escape, the renewing balm of sanctuary helps us find sustenance and rejuvenate from within, while allowing us to simply be in the present moment. Your personal idea of sanctuary may manifest in the form of a special place, your spiritual beliefs or inner refuge of prayer and meditation. Whatever your preference, the appearance, the appearance of this card speaks to its relevance for your life at this moment. Cultivate a little distance from an issue by nourishing your spiritual resources in the safety of your private oasis. Viewing life from a renewed sense of perspective will help you arrive at more attuned choices for the future. Basically, it's saying take a time out. Take a step back. Go to your happy place, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we got? Please show me what we have for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I thought I saw a card flip over, but I guess not. What do we have? Well, apparently they don't flip anyway. Ooh. Okay. So something is getting old. Somebody is holding on to something that needs to be released and it's getting old. This is like holding on to a dead end situation with the death card reverse. And eventually it has to be released. So what are you waiting for? Queen of Cups reverse is somebody who's not mastering their emotions. Somebody that is very emotional at this time may see themselves as a victim. Now, you could be dealing with this person or it could be you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces or Cancer, but we have Scorpio twice. Uh, maybe something is, is ending, coming to an end, and it's being resisted for some reason. Maybe they're resisting it or you're resisting it. Something is coming to an end. But there's resistance, for sure. Um, oh, you could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Now, this represents Cancer and Pisces. This represents Scorpio. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you're probably dealing with a water sign. Could be anybody else. But they could have water in their chart. Anyhow, the moon is a card of the shadow, the things unseen. You think about a shadow. You can't 
what you see isn't really what you get with a shadow. I mean, you can you can make a freaking animal with your hands and it look like an animal, but it's not really an animal, it's really your hand. You know? Something is not as it seems. There's secrets. There could be some deception here. There's something that is portraying it to self itself to be more than it really is. So beware. When you can see this, it means beware, okay? Oh, page of swords. You could be dealing with an immature individual who is plotting against you even. I mean, honestly, I hate to say that, but that could be the case. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is very childish. Um, this person um, may be out to get you and sabotage you in some way. I don't get this message very often. Um, could be a child, could be um, somebody that just acts like a child, I don't know. Um, but this is conflicts, this is conflicts, and this is you needing to protect yourself. You need, you're going to need to really be on guard, okay? You guys are going through a transition right now, you are. And you have an opportunity to move to a better place. And I think that's, that you're doing, you're starting the journey. You're on the journey to balance and harmony. You are. You're trying to move away from troubled situations, but something is holding you back. It could be another person. You have a big, big, big opportunity waiting for you. And like I said, you need to protect yourself. And this is you finding the confidence and the strength and the willpower to, you know, remain in control of your temper try not to lose your temper because you're gonna you some you got somebody that may be tr stepping on your toes okay trying to step on your toes this is you needing to find the discipline and the ability to restrain yourself from kicking their ass or freaking out or anything like that I feel like you're gonna have to to, to temper yourself okay um, hold your head up high okay take a new approach do whatever you got to do be confident whoever this person is that is against you um, they're childish and everybody knows that they're childish so rest assured that you don't you're you're respected you're in the upright you're you're the queen here or the king or whoever you are you're the one in control you are in control and you're doing just fine okay Somebody may be jealous of your opportunity, the opportunity that you have received. Somebody may be jealous of your growing abundance. You know, that could certainly be the case. And, you know, you're headed towards more abundance. And you got, I think you have somebody here that is not happy about it. Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me just fix this a little bit um, now this is a, a decision choices you have options you have options here with the seven of cups you know don't don't make a impulsive impulsive decision based on illusions okay because this is illusions illusions you know somebody may be trying to get you yes maybe you think that that could be an illusion because this is an illusion this is an illusion maybe that's you just thinking that somebody is out to get you that could absolutely and this is a thought <laughs> you guys may be thinking somebody is out to get you you may be thinking it could be true it could be true but this is let go of your fears the nine of swords let go of your fears let go of your worries you have a big opportunity. You have a big opportunity in front of you. This is a gift. This is something that you can hold on to. It's something that you can save. It's, it's, it's abundant. You have something being given to you that is very, that has room for growth. It's very, um, we have a big bright opportunity here. You do. For growth, for success, for abundance, for something solid, for something long term, for something stable. You are absolutely headed in the right direction. Don't let negative thoughts and fears get in the way. Or don't let a negative Nelly, if it is an actual person that is trying to bring you down, don't let them. 
find the strength to persevere without persevere without losing your temper okay don't let negative thoughts and fears and anxiety steal your opportunity okay you have many options here you um, there's consequences for the actions this is a card of consequences for the actions that you take hold your head up high don't let other people worry you you are headed in the right direction somebody may be trying to hold you back could be your own thoughts don't let it happen master your emotions remember I said somebody's not mastering their emotions you be the master of the, your emotions even if somebody else is not okay you're in control you're in charge and you are respected the overall energy is the ace of pentacles you have a huge new opportunity here or a growing opportunity something that is very fertile something that is very passionate you could if you are single you may be getting a new passionate offer from somebody you could be um, this could even be a job opportunity um, be careful the seven of swords somebody is jealous I'm sorry that's the truth it's it's truth it's the truth somebody is not happy with your success they don't want you to succeed um, son of a bitch um, you got a sneaky shady individual that doesn't want to see you win all you got to do is prove them wrong. Prove how strong you are with grace and tact. Because you think of the Queen of Wands. She's re not only represented by you, Temperance. She's, she's represented by Leo, which is grace and tact. And control, which is Aries. You have the ability to remain in control and act with grace and tact and win over this I'm trying not to swear. I'm doing my damnedest. Uh, sneaky, shady uh, thief, whoever it is. This person is very jealous of you. Um, they, oh, oh God, they don't want they don't want you to be abundant. They don't they don't want you to be successful, and that's really sad. This person, whoever this person is. It could be it could be a mother. It could be a family member. It's a it could it's probably a woman. This woman is um, very jealous, green with envy. She is. She's green with envy. She um, could be a Libra. Could be a Taurus. Could be anybody. Whoever this woman is, she is. Um, unhappy with who she is so because she's unhappy with who she is she deceives other people you know that's how it is that's how it is misery loves company could be a sister I don't know who it is um, this is uh, Maybe you need to let go of this person. If you know who this person is, you know, re maybe I think there's a, I used to, this used to be a big thing, releasing drama. Release this person from your life. Remove them from your life. Stop trying to make it work with them. They don't have your back, whoever this person is. And... I feel like you need to turn your back on them because your ships are coming in. All you have to do is make a choice to face forward, not backwards. Whoever this person is that is so jealous of you, don't look at them. Don't talk to them. Your ships are coming in and they're not happy about it. You're dealing with oh, the goosebumps are so strong. The chills. You're dealing with a toxic individual, somebody who just wants to steal your power. You're dealing with a manipulator, somebody that is very greedy, and they don't want you to be in control. They don't want you to 
rise above them. They're not happy with themselves. You're dealing with an individual who's not abundant. They don't lack self-worth. I mean, they don't have self-worth. They're not um, able to take care of themselves with ease. And, and they don't want you to be able to. They don't want you. You got somebody that doesn't want you to rise above them. And that is the damnedest truth. Um, I feel like the, you have somebody that doesn't want you to be doing well. They're, they don't. They don't want you to be abundant. And that sucks. God, people like that suck. Anyway, um, but it makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And this is the queen of strength. You have the strength to deal with this toxic person. You do. You do. Try not to lose your cool. Try not to lose your temper. Whoever you're dealing with isn't enjoying themselves. They're not a happy person. They're not. They're not. Look at it like that. They're going to learn their own lessons. They are. They are. Um, this person has a big ego. This person has a lot of pride and they're just trying to get as much as they can get from another person. I think they want attention from somebody else and they don't want that attention to go to you. Um, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, doesn't have anything solid, stable to offer. They're not stable. They're not grounded. They're not secure. They're, they're jealous. Like I said, green with envy. You are dealing with a person that is so jealous of you that it is absolutely sickening. I'm sorry. And it's like you're holding on to them. And I don't know why. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a wife or a husband or something like that. Or I don't know who this person is. But this person, it could be, I think it's a family member. I think this person just does not want to, you to succeed. And it's because they're miserable. Like I said, misery loves company. Yeah, they don't want you to be abundant. It's a family feud. It's a family issue. This is absolutely a family issue. They don't want you to get what you deserve. They don't want you to make more than them. Make more money than them, perhaps. I don't know. This is all based on ego and pride. There's no doubt. This is, uh, this is sickening. Um, oh, you got a negative Nelly in the bunch. You do. Somebody who just wants to bring other people down. You're going to have to be strong, Sagittarius, okay? Be strong because this is really not your problem, even though they're making it your problem because they're so green with envy. Um, you have better... Let this person go, please. Please. Whoever this person is, don't deal with them anymore. Don't talk to them. Don't look at them. You have other opportunities. And I think that you know that. You need to find the courage, even if it is a family member. You need to find the courage to cut people out of your life that don't have your best interest at heart. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be anybody. Could be any sign. We have all the signs here. <laughs> like I said, whoever, whoever you're dealing with um, is a mess. They have hidden agendas. They're not grounded at all. They um, are going through a period of depression and repression. And they don't want you to do better than them. Okay? Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Somebody does not want you to be more aligned than they are. I got the goosebumps like mad. Keep doing what you are doing. You are a force to be reckoned with. You are strong, you are confident, and you have the ability to refrain from this petty behavior. 
You are respected. See the dog looking up how much he, he loves her? You are loved. This is a test. It's a test of your strength. It's a test of your willpower. It's a test of your ability to let go of people in situations that don't honor you. We're going to get you one of these. If you are, feel like you are going to flip, if you feel like you are going to beat the, the living daylights out of this person, find your happy place. Because that will get you in trouble. This person is, is childish. They're petty. People can see that. Don't think that other people can't see that because they can. This person's going to look like a goddamn fool by the time it's over. So, and you don't even, you're not even going to have to do it. They're going to do it on their own. Okay. Just let them, let them destruct. They will destruct. Oh, we got two. You know what that means? It means we're going to have to take them, right? Reaching your destination, impasse, perfect. We're going to read impasse first. Reflect and redirect your energy. Did we not talk about that? And I said, you're shining bright. If I didn't, I was thinking, thinking it. Your light is shining brightly. I'm serious. And somebody is not happy. The best revenge is to keep shining. That'll piss them off even more. Any impasse. My, my, I, I can't speak because it is Mercury retrograde, so please bear with me as I read this the best possible way. Reflect and redirect your energy. Turning back isn't necessarily a failure. Sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do, turning your back, I should say. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you to use this at a, as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, and then let it go. Isn't that funny? Wow. There are times in life to break through barriers, and there are times to change direction. There is an area in your life regarding relationships, businesses, finances, health, or your life path that needs to be evaluated. Perhaps a new route is needed. If you reach an impasse in life, instead of protesting in, protesting that it's unfair or unwarranted, just change your course. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you need to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. Don't even face this, whoever it is. I'm not going to swear, but it's real close. Um, reaching your destination. Loser. You're dealing with a loser. There we go. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. All your hard work and effort is paying off. And that is no joke. It's true. Glory, triumph, and success are yours. If you've given your power away, now is the time to reclaim it. I can't make this shit up. I can't. Somebody's trying to steal your power, and I said that way back. It's time to stand in your own light. A destination is less of a place, but more of a new way of seeing the world. Your dreams are moving to fruition. If you have any incomplete projects or unresolved relationships, this is the time to complete them. This is an important part of reaching your destination. Take time to celebrate and acknowledge your successes in life. The voyage was long, and there was many adventures along the way. But as your trek reaches the destination, there's a feeling of joy and celebration. It's important to stop and rest and congratulate yourself for who you are and what you have done. 
The traveler forgives those who on the voyage were less than honorable. Isn't that crazy shit? You're going to just forgive this person and move on. Don't engage with them. Oh, oh my God. The goosebumps are so strong. Release any feelings of resentment, fear, and sadness that you have gathered along the road. Just release this person and, and forgive them and don't ever look back. Celebrate and honor yourself. You are so worth it. You are headed in the right direction. <laughs> Congratulations. 